Hello and welcome to another update video about ETH. So yeah, the move into resistance continues to be a difficult one here. I mean, the yellow wave count is still the primary scenario, suggesting continuation to the downside, but the market is really undecided. Now the price is hovering again just above key support around 16.07, 16.10. That's relevant support. I think a break below that level would now accelerate the downturn. We're going to talk about that. But we have to rem remain flexible here. I mean, I cannot rule out that it's going to go higher. There are certainly wave counts that would support a rally higher. For example, let me show you a short-term bullish wave count. In the short-term bullish wave count, we could still eventually go lower. Yeah? But I have hi highlighted here the white wave count as a pathway for the price to push higher above 1700 again this is only the scenario that i'm going to observe with yeah with more confidence um as soon as the price breaks above 1700 dollars yeah at the moment the short-term bullish count would be okay we came down here in an a wave the move up here was not a b wave but instead the b wave will be reset to here and then this is an a wave a b wave and the C wave in a in a larger B wave, so a flat structure, where the A wave was a three wave move, the B wave was a three wave move, and the C wave is five waves in the white wave count. And we could just reset the B wave higher because it was quite short, and then we break down. This is a pathway that I would follow above seventeen hundred dollars. However, of course, there is a bullish complete breakout count available as well. But first of all, we need to follow through and do these five waves up. Then we can talk about that, yeah? Then we are watching, okay, does it maybe hold the three wave pullback? And then we can say, all right, we are formulating a support area for maybe a long trade, speculative long trade. And if it holds, then a third wave rally can unfold. So it's literally, first of all, we need to see, okay, do we form five waves up? It could then still be bearish. It could just be an, um, a reset of the B wave because of this messy structure here. So yeah, I'm watching for that. But um, either way, we don't even need to 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 you know do all those mental gymnastics as long as the price is below the seventeen hundred dollar level, because the short term bearish wave count is at the moment the one that's in play. It's the yellow wave count. It suggests that the price yeah moved down in an A wave, B wave, and now we are in the C wave down. And in the C wave, we completed a wave one. We rallied into resistance in a wave two, got rejected already. We had that textbook bearish setup I indicated to you a couple of days ago. That is working out at the moment. And we could already be in this third wave breakdown, then a fourth wave, then a fifth wave, okay? Um, so essentially, there are two key levels to watch now, or three. So if I, if I assume this wave two top tier, on Monday, then um, we could already be in this third wave to the downside, circle wave three. We talked about that yesterday. And in circle wave three, we might have completed a small wave one. And we might now be working on this wave two. And the price might be working on this ABC structure in the wave two. And the key level here to watch is 1656. That's the 78.6 retracement of this microstructure. So against that level, we can watch for lower prices. But 1607 is the second key level. That now needs to break to confirm that unfolding of the third wave. So Either we go down more directly or it will do a little bit of a wave two and then come down in this scenario here, looking at the microstructure, as long as 1656 or 1657 isn't broken to the upside. Now, what happens if that level breaks? Well, then our third key level comes into play. That's still the $1,700 level. Only above that level, the white wave count, which is the more bullish one, will have to be considered uh, more strongly, yeah. So at the moment, I think the bears need to focus on breaking 1607. That's key. Okay, a small rally is possible. Then I would watch this area all the way up to 1657. Yeah, so this is key. 1639 to 1657 is the key resistance area for the wave two. This is just too small to be reliable here, but you know, we might be working on a, on a small B wave triangle here maybe. This is obviously the 30 minute chart. Just uh, looking at microstructures here, this could be a um, yeah B wave might unfold as a triangle, but it's too early to confirm that. So it would be some something like that. So just contracting triangle, and a break to the upside would probably 
get this sea wave to unfold all right so that's what i'm watching at the moment uh on the eth chart and um, yeah overall the situation hasn't changed yesterday we didn't see too much price action what you what you see here it might form some kind of a head and shoulders pattern actually but the 1610 1607 level yeah plus minus a few dollars that's key i mean can you see how the price never broke below well never it broke below it um and it did that here but then recovered very quickly so that's an absolute key level. I mean, throughout August, the price couldn't get below, okay? So that's a key support that needs to break next. Therefore, I highlighted that a break below this level would likely accelerate the downturn. And what we also should pay attention to is, yeah, this potential head and shoulders pattern that's unfolding here. So a left shoulder, a head, and the right shoulder in resistance here. The C wave could unfold or could get this head and shoulders pattern to unfold. Now, again, do we use head and shoulders? Not so often because Elliott Wave gives us already great context. So we don't really need those patterns. In addition, I always say, why should I follow a pattern like that if I can do the same with Elliott Wave? Because Elliott Wave gives us a better context. But yeah, I bring it up when, when I see it. Right, It might add um, a little bit more uh, visual stuff. You know, Some people might need that. Um, but yeah, we'll see. It, it obviously depends on the 1657 level if that is holding. Yeah, we, we, we don't want in the yellow wave count the price to break above that level. And um, yeah, this is what I'm observing. So this small rally and again, another setback to 1607, maybe in the coming days, maybe over the weekend could, um, could help with that. But obviously it's not weekend yet. So we still have some time left and um, maybe we get this third wave down before the weekend then another wave four weekend. We often get a wave four on the weekend. Uh, wave four is typically very boring. It's these boring corrective structures. They often happen on the weekend. All right. Anyway, so that's my update about ETH. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button and leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. You can find the links in the video description. And if you're interested by any chance in the channel membership, check it out. Uh, we think it's great value. You can uh, get access to a weekly live stream. We do the next one on Sunday. And you also get access to Discord and Telegram with a lot of educational content, the live chat rooms, and much, much more. And you also get access as a gold member to additional signals and short-term market updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.